Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. I said in the Kingdom Come Deliverance Nintendo Switch reveal that there was some other big news that was happening today. And that is the fact that Kingdom Come Deliverance is now under a new publisher. This is massive. On the release of Kingdom Come Deliverance, the game was published by Deep Silver, and that has been the case until right now. But back in February of 2019, Coach Media bought Warhorse Studios. Coach Media, if you don't know, owns quite a few different companies, including Deep Silver. So announced today is Prime Matter. This is a new premium gaming label and portfolio. So I'm going to read the press release that I got sent from Coach Media themselves. This is a quote, having such a wide range of opening titles as we launch Prime Matter is an example of our ethos and promise in effect. Diverse games from various studios, both established and fresh IPs, a great choice of genre, single player, co-op and multiplayer, and live operated games. Truly something for all gamers to enjoy. Now this does include games such as Payday 3, which has just been announced, Crossfire Legion, the new Painkiller game. I know there are a lot of people out there who love Painkiller back in the day, and I don't think there's been a new game since 2004 or something ridiculous. Yes, Painkiller, it's back. The embargo on that dropped about half an hour ago. So yeah, surprise, um, what else is here? King's Bounty 2, but it's not just new games that are gonna be published under Prime Matter. The most important thing here, and I'm gonna give a screenshot here, the legacy partnerships will include, but are not limited to, Warhor Studios and its multi-million selling hit Kingdom Come Deliverance franchise. That's pretty bloody massive. By calling this a franchise, that gives us the idea that this is going to be a series. Even if we don't get confirmation tomorrow at the show, I still believe they are working on it. And I'm going to talk about that as well in a little bit. Of course, they're also going to be publishing the Nintendo Switch port by Saber Interactive under Prime Matter. Also as well, we've got Nine Dot Studios with Outward, uh, which is brilliant. We've got Wasteland. Iron Harvest Franchise by King Art Games, Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lords is going to be under Prime Matter, and Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now, something interesting, uh, Mountain Blade 2 is coming to consoles. <laughs> Surprise! I'm just dropping all the bombshells right now. Yes, it's coming to consoles. I may make a separate video on this if Resonant hasn't already. <laughs> He's gonna be straight on that. I've known this for a while, but I haven't been able to say anything. And as it says, you can find out more on June 10th and 11th. Th these are all big things. Uh, obviously the summer of gaming is massive right now and there's a lot of stuff coming out, but this is huge for Kingdom Come Deliverance, mainly because this is a brand new uh, publisher underneath Coach Media as kind of their own separate thing as opposed to having another company be in charge of publishing, they've kind of taken that under their own wing. I like one thing they say here, um, each developer is as unique as they are talented. We are delighted to have such a wide and varied creative range of games to offer from AAA to triple indie from all corners of the globe. Gaming is a universal language and is a love that you never forget. We are proud to be part of this ever-growing multi-authored story. I like this. I like that they're kind of encompassing everyone in this, including indies and AAA studios. I think that's fantastic. I think the biggest thing here is the fact that they mentioned, of course, Kingdom Come Deliverance being a franchise. That's massive. That is almost confirmation, I would say. There was something else I noticed in the press release for um, Prime Matter, which is this. In addition, a number of legacy games from studios that already work with Coach Media will be published on a new label, Prime Matter. These will include Warhorse Studios' new game, as well as their hit Kingdom Come Deliverance, officially confirmed coming to Nintendo Switch in collaboration with Saber Interactive. That's huge. Um, Outward is coming to Gen 9 as well, um, so you're going to be seeing um, an Outward um, Xbox Series X and PS5 release, that's really cool. I may also make a video on that. I definitely want to make a video on Mountain Blade, so that may be coming out either before or after this. Uh, Mountain Blade Battle Lords is also coming to consoles. Now, it doesn't say specifically um, Gen 9 on that. I don't know if it's going to be all consoles, but this is still pretty bloody big. So yeah, they've confirmed here Warhorse Studios are definitely working on a game. The fact they mentioned that Kingdom Come Deliverance is now a franchise, that's big. That gives us real hope. And as I said before, I know nothing 
the only NDA stuff I signed with a lawyer, because yes, this stuff was that important, is the fact we have a Switch release. That's the only thing I know, and as well as all of these other releases, I've not heard anything about Kingdom Come 2. Um, I don't know what's happening with that, and that is unfortunate. But do not let your hopes get crushed here. Believe me, something is in the works. We're going to find out hopefully soon. They can't keep us waiting any longer. But yeah, that is pretty big bloody news, if you ask me. I think that's quite insane. Uh, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you very much for allowing me to be able to do this, Coach Media. You've reached out to me and you've trusted me with all this. I'm very grateful. To all of my supporters, I love each and every single one of you. You're amazing. To my patrons, to anyone who donates on bloody live streams, you are incredible. This last couple of days has been absolutely incredible. <laughs> Like, probably up there with the highlights of my entire channel history. This has been great. Videos are going to be incoming. There is one other game that I'm going to be talking about in a video soon, as soon as I get some gameplay footage to be able to show you. Uh, and that is The Last Oracle, which is an RPG set in medieval times, but on an alien world. And I can't wait for that. Sir Toby also voiced the trailer that I got to see. I don't know if that's the one that everyone else is going to be seeing, but yes, I think this is bloody incredible. I can't wait to tell you more. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you very much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.